what's up? My name is Sawane, and today I'm going to show you guys why we should be drinking more water. Check out the sketch. So I was in a library the other day and I decided to do a video on water because it's one of the most important nutrients on this planet. It's essential for life and depending on the environment and temperature, you can only survive a few days without water. In today's society, we tend to overly rely on beverages such as sodas and juices, which are highly chemically processed and loaded with sugars, adding to obesity. So why water? Well, I decided to draw the sketch of Electra the Space Goddess to give you a nice visual of how water directly affects your body. As you can see, the brain consists of 90% of water. It helps regulate body temperature. The blood consists of 83% of water. It detoxifies, flushing all the toxins out of your body. The bones consist of 22% of water. It protects and moisturizes our joints. It transports nutrients and oxygen into our cells. It moisturizes the air in our lungs. It helps with our metabolism. It protects our organs. It helps our organs to absorb nutrients better. And the muscles consist of 75% of water. So how much water should we drink? I all know you have heard drink 8 glasses of water as a requirement, but that's just a general guideline. It varies in each individual and depends on age, body size, fitness activity, health status, and environment. For example, an athlete that trains in a hot environment requires 10 liters of water to maintain a healthy fluid balance, which is about 3 gallons per day. Compared to someone that is in the active, working indoors in a mild environment, requires 3 liters per day. We also gain 3 to 4 cups of fluid through metabolism and food. We also lose 7 cups through urine, 5 cups through skin and lungs, 1 cup through feces. With that being said, I recommend drinking 12 to 16 cups, which is approximately 1 gallon per day. This is good for most people, but like I said, everyone's different. If you're an athlete or doing extreme exercise training, you definitely gotta drink more. So can you drink too much water? Yes, but this is very rare, but should be acknowledged. Drinking too much water, or also known as water intoxication, can dilute the blood, causing low blood sodium. This is common in long distance marathon runners that run for long periods of time, only consuming water to stay hydrated. This is where sports beverages come in handy for vigorously intense competition. But I'll go into more detail of this in a future video about electrolyte balance. What about dehydration? Water moves through the cells and into the bloodstream, keeping the right amount of blood in the blood vessels and regulation of blood pressure. Dehydration can cause a drop in blood volume and blood pressure that will result in a decrease of oxygen in the content of the blood. Without the right amount of oxygen, our muscles and nerves function slow down, easily becoming fatigued. If you're lacking water, you will see one to two percent change in body weight. Symptoms include thirst, dry mouth, loss of appetite, and discomfort. Severe water losses are 3 to 5% change in body weight. Symptoms include sleepiness, nausea, flushed skin, and inability to concentrate. More severe water losses are 8% change of body weight, that's about 13 pounds. It can result in delirium, coma, and even death. Body temperature will increase due to fluid loss causing organ failure. The best way to avoid dehydration after a workout is to weigh yourself. For example, if you lost 2 pounds after a workout, that is measured as 1 liter of fluid, which equals 4 cups. Or you can check your urine and make sure it's clear to light yellow. Apple juice colored urine is a sign of dehydration. Brown cola colored urine is a sign of severe dehydration and damage to your kidneys. Other signs of dehydration include chapped lips, dry skin, lack of sweating, sunken eyes, low blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, rapid breathing, sleepiness or tiredness, headache, constipation, and dizziness. Other things that cause dehydration include diarrhea, vomiting, fever, poorly controlled diabetes, and diuretics or laxatives. So drink more water. I'm not telling you to completely cut out all the other beverages. Just be aware of your health and find the right balance. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please rate, thumbs up, or thumbs down. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Favorite this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.